morning, my people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Happy New Year to you all. We keep greeting you, my people. Yes, there's this saying that one good turn deserves another. Invariably, one bad turn deserves another. The Yorubas are busy demolishing Igbo properties and making sure they crumble Igbo businesses in Lagos. Then Fulani is busy destroying Amoteku men and plants, subduing them in their own land and territory. You see, when you are busy pursuing shadows, all right, pursuing shadows, you find out that you will catch wind, catch confusion. That is it. Let me read what I have here Why I'm making these assertions. Um, Aloy Ejimako tweeted something. He said, Lagos State Government demol demolishing Igbo properties while headers subduing Amoteku. He said, Aloy Ejimako, the special counsel to Namdekano, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, has lamented that killer Fulani headers as subduing Amoteku in the southwest. Aloy Ejimako lamented that while headers are ravaging Yoruba land, the Lagos state government was demolishing properties belonging to Igbos in the state. Posting on X, the constitutional lawyer wrote, News, Fuladi headsmen are currently ravaging Yoruba land, subduing Amoteku and causing Yoruba to flee their ancestral homes and farms. In another news, Igbo properties are being demolished in Lagos and Igbos are being accused of plotting to take over Yoruba land. <laughs> he also decried the raid of checkpoints in Southeast over Kano's non-release. While terrorists mass massacred people in Plateau and Kaduna State. From the Christmas Eve, Genocidal massacre in Plateau to the ongoing carnage in Kaduna. Terrorists are on a rampage in a sparsely policed northern Nigeria, whereas there is a per half, per half a mile police army checkpoint in southeast as a bulwark for not releasing Namdekano, he added. And this prompted a lot of um, reaction. <laughs> One Yoruba gullible, a gullible, how do I say it? These are the people that won't say the truth. But whatever politics say is what they say. Whatever their stomach say is what they say. So he said, ugly mumu Igbo moron, charge and bear lawyer. It is now some wolu responsibility to go and curb headers manners in Ondo. Because Ondo is now a local government in Lagos State, you are obviously a mentally ill Igbo moron. That is Abiodo Ali. <laughs> Somebody said, I'm not an Igbo man, but what Nigerian zoo country is doing to Igbo people is not fair. The way the day where war go bust, he <laughs> say, I go fight for them. You see, somebody said hatred is a poison that will untimely kill haters. And of course, that's the truth. Well, let me go straight to the analysis that, uh, you know, I, I'll have to give concerning this. Yorubas are haters of Igbos. And because of that, most of their Euro, uh, villages have been taken over by Fulani. In the name of Muslim, in the name of, you know, they are being defeated. They have chased them to very, all those uh, neighboring African countries. They run away. I'm telling you, entire villagers, they run far from their village. Yes, just to save their lives. Because Amoteku has been defeated. You hardly hear of Amoteku again. You hardly. Here of Amoteku because number one, compromise and where their minds and focus is is on Igbos who are busy 
doing their businesses, trying to enrich themselves for themselves because government does not consign any Igbo person. They are busy trying to better their lots by their own, by themselves and for themselves. You understand? And then Yorubas are busy hating them. Then Fulani busy taking over Yoruba land, destroying properties and destroying farmland, especially farmlands in those remote villages. So if you don't take time, if you don't take time, where you are looking at that is your problem will not be where the problem will come from. That place you pay less attention to will be where the problem will come from. And by then it will overtake you because you are not looking towards that direction. That is life. Come to think of it, the per half a mile checkpoint. Hey, the moment, the moment you are coming from Lagos, come and see checkpoints. I mean, two, two poles. In fact, one checkpoint will be looking, looking at the other. One checkpoint will be looking at the other. Because, because <laughs> they are too closely, you know, jam-packed that people are frustrated. You see lines of traffic simply because police, army, uh, road safety, they are collecting money. They are collecting money. Compulsorily, really, they are collecting money. You know, frowning as if uh, it is their right to collect the money. They are not even checking papers again, no. What they are on is give them that money and you pass. Whether you are carrying head of human being, whether you are a thief, just give money and you are passing. That is their business. Government pays no attention to all this. Government pays no attention to the killing of innocent citizens, destruction of our uh, Igbo properties, uh, the ravaging or rampage of our uh, hetmen and the terrorist groups. None of this is the concern of uh, your president. The concern of your president is how to hike the fuel price and then um, make sure that Naira is devalued so that he will make more money. Where is he carrying all this money to? God knows. I don't understand. But I tell you, there is no country called Nigeria. This is just a contraption where some few individuals go live together with some international criminals together and they are making sure that this contraption is not dissolved because if it is dissolved, so many businesses, so many of their illegal businesses will not continue. And that's why they are keeping Nigeria together. Not that they want to better your lot come uh, uh, the next 10 years or 5 years. No, it will keep going worse, 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 down, down, down. Because nobody cares. Nobody cares about your roads. Nobody cares about electricity being steady. Nobody cares about anything that would, you know, better your lot. And uh, the Igbo elders, the worst set of human beings living on earth, Igbo elders that don't know their own, yes, and they can do anything for money. Yes, just give them brown envelope and they will sign for you. And you see them troubling the masses. You see them putting their eyes the other way. When, when Lagos government, Yoruba people are busy dealing with their youths, dealing with their zealous youths. Oh, unbelievable. And that is why they are keeping Mazna Mikano in custody, thinking that it is by, oh, you can just prolong a matter. But you see what? This matter will end one day, sure. Because our eyes are on the ball. We're not losing focus. And of course, what the, what the master is not uh, excluded in this matter. He will keep doing what he knows how best to do and what he can do with his ministers. Yes, Biafra will come. And that is the only place or government that will give you peace. In as much as you are a Biafra or in as much as you are a Igbo person, just pray that Biafra will come so that you will not cry again. How is it that somebody will build house or shop and they will just demolish it without reason, without compensation, without 
you know, redirecting the person how to go about it. That is all happening in Nigeria. Well, well what, what goes around comes around. Keep doing the Igbos, let Fulanese keep doing you. Of course, a lorry is gone. Other parts of Yoruba land will still go into Fulani hands. And you know what that means. <laughs> you cannot fight them at any given time. Well, that's the news we have for you right now. Um, urging you to please stay glued and subscribe to our channel. God bless you all.